Uh, day four. And uh, getting the update. I know you guys can't see it, but getting the update on Trump and his task force and everything. Uh, currently on this day, nationwide, there are 200, and I believe it was shown on ABC News, there's 245,000 cases um, and 200 deaths, 200 plus deaths currently as of today. Um, and that number's going to go up, you know, as testing continues. And, uh, thankfully, now, me personally, my health, um, I feel fairly decent. Sorry about the light. Um, turn it on. So you can watch, I'll turn red, probably. Weird phone. Um, but, yeah, uh, for a couple times yesterday and just a few minutes ago, but now I feel fine. I do have like kind of a congested head thing, headache thing. So uh, I'm going to, I know in the videos I show, <laughs> there are scenes of me walking around, but I assure you I am not, um, let me get in here, Pence is talking. Uh, I assure you, I'm not getting in any contact with anybody. So, um, yeah, now I do plan on staying in today. Um, but, but, of all the things that I have to get, <laughs> I gotta get my bread. Because if I can't have my peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly, uh, I'm not surviving through anything. Not a rainstorm even, you know, I need my peanut butter and jelly, so I am stepping out for maybe just less than an hour, it, hopefully I can find some bread, if I don't, I'm going to be on a search for bread, so I got to do what I got to do, right, uh, otherwise I'm pretty good, got my, alright, so that's how it's going today, uh, just stepping out for an hour this morning, and then I'm coming back home. And binge watching. Uh, it, just for, uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to highlight a little bit of exactly what I seen yesterday when I went late night to Rayleigh's to pick up some uh, peanut butter and jelly, right? Uh, um, task Force was out. And I, when I say Task Force, I don't mean police, but uh, the Homeless Task Force was out. Um, earlier in that day, when I was out and about going to my appointment, I did notice some guys going up to some, you know, some guy in a really nice outfit going, going up to a tent, to all the tents that were in front of the library. And they were kind of trying to uh, get in touch with the homeless. And later on that night, I went to Rayleigh's. They did uh, sweep up all the tents. They sweeped up uh, all the trash the homeless had laid all over the place. And basically, it is a ghost town, even around uh, the library where the homeless are hanging out. So, you know. Hopefully they got the help they need to, you know, get them into a safe place. And that's what really does matter, no matter what their situation is. Um, lives first. So, okay. So I have to get my, go search for bread and some, oh, coffee creamer. Oh, God, I need that. Um, all right. Day four. Here we go. <laughs> I was uh, watching this video on uh, YouTube here. Um, I watch his videos every now and then. What's it called? I think Wonderlust Estate. Anyway, I was watching it, and he was talking about, there, he's up there, uh, he was talking about states closing down and stuff like that, and then he was talking about the gas prices in California, and uh, which was interesting. Uh, but then he was talking about, you know, our idiot governor, uh, Gavin Newsom, and uh, how he was going to declare martial law. And I did hear that story, too. Um and for the record, he's not, we're not under martial law, at least not right now. Uh, I don't know about the National Guard, but right now he has declared that uh, eminent domain for uh, taking over hotels and motels uh, to house the homeless. And so I think that's part of what I'm seeing happening because I haven't, I don't really see too many homeless, the usual homeless I see, you know. So that's kind of interesting. And I found it, I just found it kind of interesting, pretty funny that, you know, outside California, people actually think that we may be under martial law, and it's not the case right now. It's just pretty much a, 
like I, like I said already, an advisory, so. Out of the gate, as you can imagine. Uh, yeah, uh, people really, uh, they're out and about. Um, but they're not, <laughs> I'm not going to harp on this today, actually. I'm going to try not to, but they, let's just say they're not, the six foot rule, forget it. It's not happening today, not with those people. Um, so, this is going to be one of those times where I'm just not even going to waste my time with the hand. I'm just going to kind of, for myself, just kind of go around. And this guy behind me, this guy, coming up, he, he, this motherfucker is sneaky as fuck right there. He keeps coming up out of nowhere. God, it's really, see, there he is. It's, it's, it's really horrible. Uh living like this oh wow i'm right by a hospital in fact i'm going through a parking lot that's right next to a hospital let me show you something check this out i believe it's the first one i've seen today uh, i don't even know if i should if and guess what it is all right first it's some place you don't want to have to visit unless you need to especially today two Here's the other hit clue, or hint. Uh, symptoms. Three circuses are used in them. Have you got? Have you figured it out yet? Check it out. There you go. They are ready to go. Everybody's over there with the the gear testing site. They are ready to go. And there's a screener way down there. See the car stopped away at the end? Somebody, I guess, will go out to them, talk to them, and then they'll go through the tent and do a little procedure and then drive on. So there's one nearby. They just yelled, they just yelled at me. <laughs> they all looked at me and they says, hey, we're under quarantine. And uh, I just got the hell out. I just waved and said, I got the hell out of there. So, yeah, they... <laughs> I wasn't even within the, the yellow tape that they have uh, laid out. I was out way pretty far away. But I guess even there at the tent, uh, as close as I was, uh, took it upon them, all of them, to just yell at me. They were under quarantine. They trying to keep that space uh, nice and clean, you know, a, a sterile area, uh, I would assume. So I get it. But that was pretty interesting right there. That was really interesting. <laughs> There you go, guys. A Porsche. Anybody know what year that is? About that uh, zone, that quarantine zone. I, you know, I was thinking, you know, can people, I mean, it's a question I have. Uh, because one, my medical provider is like way far, you know, the people I deal with is just uh, way back in my old place where I used to live and that, I haven't transferred all my information over to my new place, you know, the area I live in now. But I'm just wondering, with that quarantine and the way they reacted towards me as far as I was, uh, I'd have to assume you have to go through your medical provider to do that. I don't know how much of a trouble that would be for me or for anybody else in, in a similar situation. But, I mean... I, what about people that don't have medical insurance or anything like that? Is there a place where people can just walk up and get the test if they they feel that they have the, the symptoms, you know? So that's just a question I, ha I have, you know? So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, does, does anybody, do you guys know anything about that? So I was just kind of curious. Uh, they, they sure the hell didn't want me near there. That was for sure. They made a point of that. You know, it, it, I wish I got on video. I don't know. I'll have to look at it when I edit it. But very interesting indeed.
I, I had in my last video put in uh, those screenshots of me doing uh, games on my phone. Um, it's just kind of one of my things where I was just kind of showing, kind of giving an idea of what I was doing to kill my time. Um, the music you probably heard with it, uh, I did with an app that's also, I, I have on my phone, phone, it's called GroovePad. And uh, it's pretty cool because you get to save, you know, the, the beats and, and the music that you, you know, put together. And then what I do is I just, you know, as you've seen, I can put it in my YouTube videos and I don't have to worry about royalty-free music and all that stuff. Um, I don't really use, like, YouTube's studio music. I, I've never really used any of theirs. Uh, I did use uh, some supposed, uh, through Viva Video editing app, they had your, their own music that you can add to a video. And I did that, and then I got warned it was going to be demonetized, so I had to take care of that. So, I just thought I'd let you know. tennis club it's business as usual uh, they're not worried about the social distancing so yeah everybody's just kind of there's a couple of there's a couple people over there uh, so tennis is still going on <laughs> okay <laughs> made it home and thank god it was just it, everybody and their mother was outside it was crazy why does my face look red does it i hope when this turns out, I don't know, it's the lighting in here, it's flora, it's, that light is making my face red. Uh, anyhow, um, I was thinking about going out, um, and still I gotta get my bread for my PB&J, but I think I got enough to hold me over until the morning. Uh, I figured if I go, every time I go late at night, all the stores are just wiped out. Uh, last night when I got the, the peanut butter and jelly, uh, just that black seed loaf, right? So it's not even worth going at night. I'm just going to hit it up like super early in the morning before the sun comes up. And that's how I'm going to work it. So unless something, unless I change my mind, something, you know, funny happens. Uh, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys stay safe. Wash the hands. Six feet rule, you know, and uh, just play it safe. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out.